Hey everybody, it's Brian. I have not done a video in, oh man, almost three months? Three and a half months maybe? It's been a while, so I wanted to just make a quick like video note. I want to wish everybody happy holidays. Um, here's this cute little Linux penguin. Um, I've actually grown to love Linux quite a bit, so probably do some more videos spe specifically with Linux. Um, another reason why is because over the last three months I've changed jobs twice, so that's been kind of hectic, and my new job's really sucking up a lot of my, a lot of my daily thought process, if you will. Um, but probably what's really been taking up the bulk of my time is this little gem right here called Fallout 4. Um, if you're a gamer, you know exactly what this is, and if you don't know what this is, you're probably not a gamer, or you should, you know, go to your gaming store and ask them about that and watch them laugh at you because you don't know what it is. In all seriousness, it's an amazing game, so it's really just sucked up a lot of my free time. Um... So, um, I think I need to actually take this down because it's been about two years since I actually moved hosting companies, so there are going to be some changes on Void Realms. Um, I'm still going to kick out tutorials and I want to start putting some programs and source up there, um, and I need to really update the projects. Um, still working on things. Thank you for everybody who's donated throughout the years. You've actually funded the site for the next year and a half, so I wanted to say thank you very much. Um, just bear in mind this is 100% funded from your donations. Um, side project, still working on plugin bot.net. Um, I had to back off a little bit and learn a few things. Uh, I do not know mobile programming like Android and iPhone. And if you've, if you've learned them, you know that they are very different. Now, Qt actually does do mobile programming through, what is it called, Qt Quick. But unfortunately, I actually, the, the program has to be a service. And I found that the best way to actually build a service on the phone is to use, you guessed it, the native programming language, which would be either, you know, the, what is it, uh, Objective-C for iPhone or uh, basically Java using Android Studio for Android phones. So that's a massive learning curve, and that will actually probably change some of the back end of this project. Um, also doing this little gem called Quest Club. Um, there'll be more about that in the future. I may actually do a tutorial series. I've been kind of deep diving into Y2, um, one of the projects I've been working on. Um, don't know why that's up there. Anyways, debug messages from you two. Um, there's a site called Particle IO, and I found this little guy, and this thing is just amazing. Uh, the Photon, it's like 20 bucks, and it has built-in Wi-Fi into the chip, and it's got these, uh, what are these called, GPIOs or GP pinouts. And I'm not really a hardware guy, so embedded programming is a little different to me. But you can build this thing right in the cloud, and it comes with all the source code and stuff. So I built like this motion controller very rudimentary it just you know it has a pri sensor that attaches to it and then this connects to my wi-fi and then i built an actual u2 website that lives on a raspberry pi um, if you don't know what a raspberry pi is it's there are these embedded little linux boards and they're just amazing they actually came out with a new one that i want to pick up called the uh, pi zero which is just like it's like a five dollar computer it runs full linux on it it's just amazing um, Ironically, the SSD card you need to run Linux on this usually costs more than the actual board itself. And this is overclocked to, I think, 1.2 uh, or 1.3 gigahertz, which that blows my mind because in college, I remember spending $2,500 for a computer that fast. Now they're five bucks and they're the size of a credit card. So that just blew my mind. But anyways, so the E2 website lives on this thing, which connects to the Wi-Fi. So the motion sensor would trigger up to that. So I don't know if I'm going to do hardware based tutorials. Um, I don't know if you guys have any interest in it or not. I do want to start getting into Java and of course I want to continue with Qt. Uh, Qt has just amazed me how it's grown throughout the years. Um, I still get a bajillion, that's actually the word for the day, the bajillion. I get a bajillion emails about Qt and um, some of the things we've already covered, some of the things you can actually find in Qt Creator, but it's just amazing to see how this group has gone, gone and grown throughout the years. So. Anyways, I wanted to wish everybody happy holidays. And as always, feel free to reach out on the Void Realms Facebook group. There's like, I think there's pushing like 300 of us out there. I mean, it's grown quite a bit. I'm just amazed. So other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys in 2016.